Hello and welcome to Geo Snippets. I'm Head Hard Hat. In the next few minutes, we'd like to give you some interesting information and tidbits about the game, the sport, yes, the obsession, known as geocaching. Well, in today's episode, we're going to teach you about breadcrumbs. No, not this kind, but the electronic kind, the kind that you find on your GPS unit. It's also known as tracking. What you use tracking for is when you're out in the fields, out in the woods, in the desert, on the mountains, down in a holler, that you're able to go from point A to point B and find your way back to your car. That's what we're going to do today, electronic breadcrumbs. Let's get started. Now the very first thing that you always need to do is after you leave your car and you're about to start onto your trailhead, always make sure that you mark where that trailhead is so that you have the point to get back to where you know where your car is. Today we're going to use two different types of GPS units. This is a Garmin 60 CSX and this is a DeLorne PN40. We're going to use both side by side and show how that tracking or electronic breadcrumbs work. Let's start now. Now on a Garmin 60 CSX you have this tracks button up here. All you have to do is make sure that it's highlighted, hit enter, and it tells you whether you want to turn it on or off. We're going to turn ours to on. Right now I don't have anything saved so it's at zero. Move it over. That also if you see that bottom right hand with track back we'll show what that looks like in a few minutes too. Now it's ready and it's starting to record where we're going. Let's get moving and I'll show you this as we move along. Okay, for the DeLorme, all you have to do is uh, hit the menu button here and you're going to go down to where it says tracks, hit enter, and same thing. Start up, start recording. We'll show you the save, follow, and clear uh, buttons in a little while. But uh, we are ready to rock and roll and save some track headings. Let's go. Walking through trails. Nice big one like this can be pretty easy to follow. Other trails, not so much. Okay, so here's the situation. You're out in the woods, there's trails everywhere. Some of them are deer trails, maybe you'll be lucky enough to find a good foot trail. The problem is you, when you marked where your car was, you forgot to turn tracking on. And then you run into this, a swamp. Now the problem becomes, yeah, I know the car is way over there someplace. It could even be another half a mile, you know, close to you. But there's an obstacle in your way to get to the car. Do I go this way? Do I go this way? I know the car's back there, but where did you turn to get where you are now? That's where people get lost, and that's how you can actually get lost with a GPS. We know it's there. How do you get to it? That's where tracking and electronic breadcrumbs come in handy. Now right off the bat, what you can see here, the arrow is where you're at. The line is where we have already walked, which has only been a short, you know, amount of uh, distance. But the further we go, and how we bend, you know, the trails move and twist and intertwine. That's how tracking works. That is your electronic breadcrumbs. Okay, here is the Garmin 60 CSX. Similar in nature, you can see the line the direction that we're actually moving and the line showing our electronic breadcrumbs. We'll show you after we walk around a bit what this ends up looking like and how you find your way back. Just another cool reason of why we like geocaching so much. You get to see the interesting wildlife that uh, is in the area. Here we have a pair of beautiful owls. You can hear them calling to each other. They're just fantastic to watch. Here's a little video of it. Boy, that's beautiful. Don't see that every day, do you? Scary, but beautiful. Oh, there's another thing. Yeah, I think there's one that just flew over there. Good. Hello. 
He is watching you. Okay, now you've found the geocache that you were looking for and you want to go back. Or you've gone on a hike and you've reached the halfway point of the total distance that you want to walk. Now what you need to use is the track back features or to just follow the breadcrumbs back on your map. Let's take a look at what that looks okay. like. Okay, so you want to find your way back. It's very simple. You go back onto your menu for this example on the Garmin, hit tracks, go into it, and then come down to where it says track back. It's really cool because what it does is it shows you exactly where you began, the trail that you followed, and how to get back to it. All you have to do is follow the breadcrumbs back. Now you can see where the Garmin has a track back. The um, DeLorme PN40 has a follow. And for there all you got to do is hit the enter button, click follow, and it actually recalculates your track all the way back. And you can start here and it'll actually tell you where to make your turns, left, right, and how to go through. Works pretty much the same way as the Garmin, but the main thing is it gets you back to your car safely. Now one of the nice things about having topo maps on your GPS unit is you can see things like lakes, rivers, ponds, and it gives you a better idea as to where you are on the map as opposed to where you need to go. You can see here a lake that we're next to and the tracks of where we went so far and how close we are to the lake. But it's very nice to have these topographical maps on your GPS. One, to help find geocaches a little easier because it's nice to know whether it's on this side of the stream or that. And also when you're walking around just so that you don't get lost. And of course, anytime when you are out walking the trails, sometimes getting a little lost, it is nothing more satisfying as to be able to finally follow those electronic breadcrumbs and make them back to your parking lot where the cars are. Big relief, GPS units, let you do that. Okay, so let's go over what we learned today. We learned that electronic breadcrumbs, not these regular breadcrumbs, work much better. So you don't have to worry about these. This works a whole lot better, but you have to remember to turn it on. In other words, mark before you go out onto a trail where your car is. Turn on tracking and then make sure when it's time to go back to go through and use either track back or whatever feature the type of GPS unit that you have, follow those electronic breadcrumbs back to your car safely. We hope this is very informative for you and gets you back to where you need to go. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Geo Snippets and come back real soon, where you get even more interesting information and tidbits about the game, the sport, yes, the obsession, known as geocaching. This is Head Hard Hat saying we hope to see you out on the trails real soon. Mm. Bye bye, folks. <laughs>